I'm Jeff Gogue and I'm from Oregon. My name is Michael and I'm from uh, Southern California. My name is Juan Salgado from Puerto Rico. Uh, I'm Jennifer Billig and I live in Fayetteville, Arkansas and I am a tattooist and a printmaker and a gardener and a cook. In May of 2009, a group of the world's leading tattoo artists gathered at the Hell City Tattoo Fest in Columbus, Ohio with the objective of making art together in a performance environment. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, this should be the only thing of its kind that's ever happened before. When Guy and I were looking for artists to participate in Interstate, we were looking for people who had a unique vision from their own imagination. The aesthetic that we were going for with this idea of Interstate was something that was a little bit more cerebral, something that uh, really pushed people to channel their inner visions and pull them on into canvas. You know, tattoo artists are very limited in skin, so when they get a chance to paint a canvas, they, they get, like go crazy you know, and do amazing stuff. A anything that they can't do on skin, they will turn on canvas. I've always felt that tattooing is something that I do for other people. It's not about me, it's not about my work, you know, that sort of thing. And I need to be able to paint in order to have that kind of balance. Because obviously with the tattoo, you can't make any mistakes. With the painting, you know, you have a little room to breathe and play a little bit. and. And everyone here this weekend is doing something different in the fact that they're, uh, you know, we're uh, we're exploring other mediums, and uh, you know, this hasn't always been the norm for for tattooing. I mean, when I started painting, it brought me out. I was an average guy within the trade, and it definitely set me apart. Been been a painter for many years, as well as a tattoo artist, and. Uh, Usually when I paint, I work completely alone, so I wanted, I wanted to experience the feeling of being in a room with all these other people working at the same time. It's different painting uh, on a stage with an audience. Um, in some ways, there's more pressure, but it's good pressure. It's productive pressure. From my point of view, it's pretty intimidating. There's a lot of really good artists, people who I really look up to, you know, who are really creative and out there. Pretty much everybody in that group was the kind of people that are pushing the envelope when it comes to the industry and like changing the way people look at the way tattoos should be done or can be done. We're trying to reach a, the new level of art. Just when you think that, that nothing else can happen, all of a sudden it hits a new level and you're blown away once again. It was a great addition to the whole show. You know, and it brought a whole new excitement, you know, and I, I think a, a whole new appreciation too for the art form of tattooing, seeing that we don't just tattoo, that we're fine artists as well. It leads us to consider future interstates and what else we can do and where else we can take this. And we have all kinds of ideas. I love the idea of doing a performance in a public space. I feel insanely inspired to go home and put everything I've learned into the tattoo work and some more painting. So this was a really awesome experience and uh, was uh, really uh, proud to be a part of it. Hands down, every single person I've talked to has had a great time. We've really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to do it again.